Alright guys, we're back with the My Starcraft Arena number 6, powered by Daily Motion. And we're getting started with our third round. Grenadiers are up for grabs. And we have Majestic versus 4GG. Our first map is Catalina, and here we are. Spawned in the bottom right on the 5 o'clock position. He's playing for Millennium Spawn as the blue Terran. It is 4GG. And his opponent spawned at the 9 o'clock position as the purple Prodas currently teamless. It is Majestic. Alright, let's see what he has in store for a Terran. Uh, Liquid Red just tweeted, um, I think I might have had enough. <laughs> I, I might have had enough uh, um, Prodas in my lifetime. Hopefully, this doesn't mean the end of his career. I think five years of dealing with SC2 Protoss might be enough. <laughs> well, if you can't fight him, join him. And there's also Legacy of the Void coming out. And I don't know if you... Have you guys tried this... Um, have you guys tried this new balance test map? It already has the Flying swarm or uh, flying Locust upgrades and um, changes to Swarm Host in there. So you might want to try it out. I've not seen it in action just yet, and also not read any pro. I, I read the pro comments, but that was before they tried out the map, so it doesn't really mean all that much to be honest. But I think they should try out the map. Maybe do a little bit of a show match th series on it, like they have done on the Legacy of the Void um, custom map. Okay, 4GG opening up with an early refinery. Might go for a um, little bit of a Reaper push, or at least Reaper Scout. Let's see if he's actually gonna push with it. Um, but I think that Reaper is definitely useful. He can jump back in there later on and just scout out uh, what Majestic is going for in the mid game. And that saves him a little bit of energy and thereby a little bit of resources, because he can spend that on more mules. And yeah, the Reaper is coming out, keeping all of his workers in there. See if he goes for the trademark 4GG aggression. Uh, initially, the Reaper will scout out these, uh, the northern base, the 1 o'clock position, so it's gonna take a little bit longer to get over to Majestic. It's gonna buy him a little bit of time, but let's see if he's gonna skip that first Zealot. I think, uh, I think he might. For now, next is first for Majestic. And that, had, uh, that um, command center is coming in for 4 GG. And there's the follow up. He's going for a reactor right away. So get can get straight started with marine production if he wants to. And here's Mothership Core coming out. So that should be just sufficient to deal with the Reaper. There's no other Reaper that's gonna follow this. So a single Reaper can be dealt with quite swiftly by that Mothership Core. Let's see where he's gonna position it. <laughs> gonna fly in between these bases, I would assume. Reaper's coming out. He's not been scouted so far. Gonna come in there, see, okay, gas is taken, three workers in there. Second gas, also taken, also three workers in there. And that's about all he needs to see. Ooh, nice move! Majestic! Wow! You're on top of things. These little tiny details that will actually help out a lot, because right now, I mean, Majestic, he'll need to, uh, or for GG rather, he will need to spend uh, a scan in order to find out what Majestic is doing, or we'll have to see. I mean, he still has that option of um, going for a starport, but no, nope, it's a three barracks pressure, so definite 4GG style. This tech lab is gonna wait for the first uh, upgrades to come in and then apply a little bit of pressure. But Majestic already reacting, going for the Twilight Council, and also has that third gas on the way already. There goes the Concussive Shell upgrade. So maybe a little bit of a Marine Marauder push for 4GG. Could certainly work out quite well. For Catalina, we have a little bit of a wider ramp. So that helps for Micro. Um, but I think 4GG is going to be a little bit content by just applying some semblance of pressure and then expanding behind it. Still sticking to that one gas for now. Okay, there goes the second one. Uh, third and fourth gas I would assume will take a little bit longer. He will go for an eBay pretty soon as well. 
and then just churn out those upgrades. Ooh, Blink is on the way. Here comes uh, Stim Research. And oh, Majestic trying to scout out, but he moved out a little bit too soon. He's not going to scout out that army just yet. Two Stalkers. Uh, Blink just got started, so it's going to take quite a while. But it's only a single Marauder. I think with some good micro, maybe pulling a few probes, Majestic can actually deal with this. But we'll have to see. Concussive Shell doing good work. There comes the... Uh, Oops, the Photonova charge. Oh, and probes are helping out, but there's still quite a few Marines left. Five Marines making their way into the main base. Mothership Core getting rid of one more. And he's gonna focus on the Mothership Core. But it's only two. Mar oh, three Marines remaining. Still some decent damage output here for 4GG. He might lose one more if they actually get in range here. The probes that. Yep, they will. Be the last one off. Still, I think this might have been worth it. Seven workers killed. Um, quite a bit lost. Well, come out about even. Come out about even. Let's see what he has planned behind this. He didn't expand behind this, so that's one thing um, that Majestic has going for him, because now he can apply some counter pressure. He has Blink almost done. Uh, the Mothership Corps will have to gather some energy, and that's that's maybe the caveat here. As he also needs to defend at home. He, he knows that 4GG can go for additional pressure now, and Mothership Corps will have a little bit of time where it needs to gather energy before the next Ornova charge will be available. And there it goes, the next, next aggression attempt here for 4GG. Moving in again, just a single Marauder. And probes have to be pulled here. Link is ready, but he's not using it just now. He really wants all those cooldowns available. And 4GG is uh, is trapped over here. Good Blink Micro coming out for now. Not losing any Stalkers. He will lose a few more probes. Not too many, I think. This is Majestic turning this game around. And behind this, he's already going for his first Colossus. Thermal Ants has just started. And, well, he lost 16 workers. Uh, he's a little bit behind in the worker game now. I think with that Colossus, he could apply some counter pressure. There are quite a few Marauders out now. And, I mean, if they're stimmed, they could just close in. Close in the Colossus, take him out before he actually does the real damage on these Marines. It looks like 4GG might actually go for, for the, um, a drop attempt. Doom drop into the main. Just like adding a few more gateways. This is going to help him deal with this drop. But if he doesn't scout this, and I doubt he will, because... How can he? He didn't. Uh, he skipped the observer, and with that one skip, uh, or actually he didn't skip it, but it's sitting right over here. Um, but looks like he didn't scout this out, and he still doesn't see it. It's the entirety of 4GG's army just sitting in there and going straight for the pylons and stopping all of these buildings from warping. And oh, he's definitely going for the cyber core. No more stalkers for 4GG. And just gets out without taking any real losses. Yep, that uh, second medevac was at the edge there, but hey, he got rid of the cyber core. It's immediately being rebuilt. But that's a little bit of a blunder here from Majestic. Should have added in a uh, second observer just to scout out this edge over here, because it leaves so much wide open space. Even a, a single pylon would have helped just to scout out uh, when 4GG gets there, and then you still have a little bit of time to react. But the way this works, uh, 4GG just did massive damage without taking any losses. And he's gearing up to take his third. Uh, that proxy pylon just way too obvious. Yeah, third is almost ready. He has a decently sized army. I think he's gonna move out and then just take the third behind this. Plus one, uh, plus one armor upgrade is on the way. Here comes the shield upgrade uh, for his marines. And he's adding in quite a few vikings. Already three out on the map. Three more are being produced, so he has the answer to the Colossus already. And Majestic, right now, mostly Colossus based uh, tech setup here. Two Colossi, 13 Stalkers. I mean, they are Blink Stalkers, but I don't know if this is gonna save him this time. So many Marauders already out, and once 4GG has that plus one armor upgrade, I think he's just gonna be fine defending this. And he's moving over with the factory. He's gonna scout out uh, what Majestic is doing as his main base. If there's gonna be any any tech switches coming in, and a third one, a third not taken here for 4GG at all. Uh, did he see any of this? I don't think he saw Majestic. Lacking a little bit of map vision, so these stalkers will get in here. 
But are they risking it? Yes, they are. Turn, turning around, turning around. Still needs a little bit of time. And there comes another blink. Oh, aggressive blink forward. Getting one Viking, two Viking, three Vikings. Still quite a few Vikings left, though. Uh, still enough to deal with three Colossi. So 4GG, we'll have to watch out. But Majestic needs to keep these Colossi back. And wow, he's just moving on top of the bunkers. Getting one shot off. Colossi extremely low and he's just chasing them off. He will lose quite a few Vikings, but it's just so many Vikings and the entirety of 4GG just moving down here. And there is the victory. 1-0 for 4GG in this best of five. Closer to those 300 euros prize money that he gets for just starting out in that third spot. So let's see which map they're gonna pick next here. They are back. And we're just waiting for Armad to open this up. Come on, come on, come on, guys. Yeah, I think that's that's good. They'll probably they'll probably open it up pretty soon here. Maybe he's taking a little bit of a break. Yeah, so um, 4GG has a chance for 300 euros right now. And Majestic, um, if he turns the series around and uh, wins, then he could go and add 300 euros on top of the 200 euros he's already won. So that would put him up to 500. And then in the final, uh, in the final round of this King of the Hill tournament, we have Nurcio stepping in, and he has a chance for 400 euros, or um, well, the winner of this one has uh, has the chance to add another 400 euros to his bill already. Okay, next lobby has been opened. Let's see which map we're going to see in the second map here. Come on, come on, come on. There it goes. Secret Spring. Another smaller map. So I think this would be something that 4GG likes. Um, seems to suit his playstyle a little bit more. Uh, never mind, looks like the second map is Deadwing. Okay, well, we're gonna have to leave this one. Um, the way this works is they... Um, ban the maps beforehand. So um, player A bans one of the seven maps, player B bans one of the remaining six maps, and so forth until there um, are only two maps remaining and then the last map is played in case of a tie between the players. So ban, ban, picks, pick, 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 pick. Alright, so Deadwing is our next map uh, instead of springs so that's a little bit different could go either way i think this is actually pretty good for majestic um he probably likes his mid later mid game pushes a little bit more and wasn't quite able to deal with the aggression that 4gg put out early on okay looks like they're ready now and let's get started Yeah, Deadwing, I think it's gonna suit Majestic a little bit more. Or maybe 4GG is just gonna readjust his style. Um, that's a definite option. Looks like 4GG might play a little bit more customs. Either that or he's playing on the Korean server, because currently uh, he's still in Master League, while Majestic is uh, Grandmaster. But, well, could also be just more Smurf accounts, more barcodes. Let's get started here. We are on Deadwing and in the bottom left spawned as the blue Terran. He just took out Majestic with a clean sweep. It is Millennium's 4GG. And his opponent spawned as the purple Protoss, currently teamless. It is Majestic. So yeah, Majestic will have to change his game plan a little bit here. Took uh, quite a beating with that one drop. That single drop basically um, killed his entire style. Um, and it kind of forced him to attack too, since he did take quite a loss there. 
and there was no real way for him to deny the third for sufficient sufficient time. So I think it was an okay move to try to make something happen, but I don't know. Uh, he just didn't have enough Blink Stalkers to stop those Vikings, and that was part of the issue here. Alright, barracks coming out. Gas will be taken soon after, I would assume. Yep, there it goes down. So he's probably gonna go for another Reaper once again here. Uh, by the way, according to Illegal Luck, um, 4GG should have an overwhelming advantage here. Um, it just leaks apart, but then again, maybe Majestic's um, results have um, have not been entered in there so far, but I think that's, it's pretty much almost automatic. And 4GG just has a way better historical score, is in a little bit better form, but their Majestic is also in pretty good form. But form versus opposing race is just through the roof for 4GG, 65% win percentage. They've never played each other, so this is the first time they'll face off. And there goes that Reaper again for 4GG. It was stopped dead in its tracks last time by Majestic. A really nice move, I gotta say, I mean, um, using, uh, using his probes to block him off and then take it out with the Mothership Core. Really, really well done. I don't think it's gonna happen once again. Well, We'll have to see, but 4 gg is prob probably not going to make that same mistake twice. And we see a command center coming out of 4 gg Majestic uh, should throw down his Nexus. And there it goes. Command center and Nexus being placed down almost simultaneously. And we see the same follow-up here for 4 gg So Reaper and going straight for the reactor. I think that makes a lot of sense, uh, the way he plays this out. Just to apply this early game pressure and uh, keep the Protoss on his toes. Okay, scouting out the left side, nothing to see here. And we'll try to scout out the right, which he should probably be able to. Uh, the Mothership Core is out, so I'll probably just have a look, see, okay, gases are taken, three workers in there. Um, probably an early Twilight Council once again. Jessic just loves his Blink Stalkers. So that's that's the style I would expect out of him this game as well. There we go, 4GG jumping in. First gas. And nope, not gonna make the same mistake twice. Will you see the second gas? Yes you will. Didn't see any workers in there, but you can safely assume if it's two two guys just taken, and then uh, three workers in one, that there'll also be three workers in the other. There are quite a few players, or there are really few players that um, actually go for three workers in one gas and two in the other. I've seen it once or twice, but it's it's not all that common. Alright, and we'll change we'll see a little bit of a change of plans here for 4GG. It's going for a star port and widow mine, so it looks like a marine widow mine drop. And again, early aggression followed up by um by mass expansion. Well mass expansion that third was a little bit late for 4 GG, but he did have it available early on, just didn't place it down for safety reasons. And the Marines making their way over. So, uh, Medivac is getting med is getting ready, already started production. And the first couple of Widow Mines are available, so it looks like he's gonna try a drop and maybe apply some pressure at the front at the same time. And this is something that can quit catch quite a few Protoss off guard. Uh, getting in there with the Reaper again, drawing out uh, these Stalkers. Nice move. Gives him a little bit of headway to get over here. And we should see a photon overcharge. There it goes down. He gets the Mothership Core down. That's a good move. Trading that for, uh, I think, two Marines here. Yeah, two Marines. The Reaper was lost. He could have saved that one. Just to see and get back into the main and scout out what he's doing. But the most important part is just getting rid of the Mothership Core to stop the second an overcharge that could go down on the main. Now he just goes down, uh, jumps in there with a medivac, and he has a second medivac already in production, so he could go for double drops here pretty soon. Let's see what that first drop will do as it goes over towards the natural. Blink, almost halfway done for Majestic, and he has a second overcharge, uh, second over mothership core ready. Overcharge is not ready, 
So, there goes the first mine. Second mine also there, and he sends over two workers. Let's see, that's the first one. Oh, actually took out two workers at the same time. So, not doing all that much. Um, I don't think this was worth it for 4GG. Killed four workers, which is alright. He didn't lose anything, so that's okay. Um, and he's not too far behind since he did get his orbital command out. But I think this just set the stage for what's about to come, because there are more medivacs being produced. Uh, we already have the second force over here. So, yep, there it goes. That's the next medivac coming in. And we're gonna see double drops here. Um, I would expect it. And nothing less. Okay, let's see if he times this out right. Probably just uh, retreat all of his drones, all of his probes, and come back in. And that's the second drop. And there's the photon overcharge. First one of mine will burrow. Second one will burrow as well. And this time Majestic not reacting. Oh, that cost him badly. 10 kills. And how many kills did we get over here? Ooh, 21 overall. 4GG just piling on the damage. The Oracle not really doing all that much. Ooh, he, he might actually lose this Nexus already. And at the same time, Majestic going for it with a couple of Blink Stalkers. Oh, he might get... Ooh, nice pickups here from Majestic, but he might lose way too much at home. Starport, uh, Stargate already unpowered. The Nexus, well, I mean, it's gonna take a while for these uh, for these Marines to clear it off, but oh, workers have been pulled at home for 4GG. Some good force fields to stop that repair. And he will lose quite a bit as well. We'll have to see how the Space Trace turns out. Space Trace, uh... Like 4GG, making, making a return here. I, I don't think that's the right call, but we'll have to see. I mean, maybe he can fight this. He has a few Marauders available, but some good Blink Micro for Majestic. Hasn't lost any Stalkers so far. Uh, might lose a few sentries though. Yep, that first one goes down. Still has a few force fits available. Ooh, good move by 4GG, saving that medevac. He's trying to get back in there, but some good SimCity saving 4GG for now. And there comes the medevacs right on top of the stalkers. Will they finally get that kill? Nope, not yet. Really good blink micro for Majestic. But looks like he's pushed out for now. How much does he have at home? There's another worker train moving over here, so... Maybe he can reproduce soon, but he has so many gateways available. Just, uh... Let's see, maybe he can just keep 4GG on that base. Uh, Oracle doing decent damage, 3 kills already. There's a Widow Mine, defensive Widow Mine, that might help out here. Uh, the Oracle should get away. Yep, Oracle gets away. Really nice move, and now Majestic, he can always dart back in here and pick off these individual SCVs, and I think this is something he should have done while he had that Oracle available, because right now, um, I mean, it's not gonna do all that much, and yeah, getting out of there before taking too many losses. Still, I think if, um, Majestic is in a pretty decent spot in this game. Um, he just played out his Ace, used, um, used his Blink, used his Blink Stalkers, now he will have to deal with a 4GG that's pretty much unupgraded, I mean, Sure, he has um, he has combat shields, he has stim, he has concussive shell. All these are nice, but I think Blink uh, can work against that. And 4GG um, will have to face off against plus one Protoss soon, because the Forge is coming in. And he hasn't built an eBay just yet. Oh, the Oracles are making their way into the main again. But they're getting picked off so quickly here, I don't think he got too many kills with that. 27 kills overall versus 24 workers killed by 4GG. And, once again, picking off a few medevacs. I think that's really vital in order to keep him from healing up. Oh, losing a single stalker for that, though. And, OGG is catching up. Oh, he will get a pickup there on a the medevac, or should at least. No, picking up individual units here on the left side, but he lose, he's gonna lose quite a few stalkers. And that's 4GG going for the 2-0. I still think Majestic had a chance here. Um... Was a little bit careless in the end, uh, losing quite a few stalkers to just stray units and taking engagements he shouldn't have, have uh, shouldn't have taken. But hey, I mean, there was a definite turnaround happening here, and he kind of threw it away. He should have, as I said, I mean, going in with the oracles on the left side in the main, and then moving in the stalkers to take out um, take out the SCVs that were mining in the natural. Maybe do a little bit of damage, take out the gas, or just kind of 
play with 4GG a bit, and then buy yourself time to go for that plus one upgrade behind it. That would have been the move here for 4GG, uh, for um, uh, Majestic. But now, he's in the same spot that Red was in. He needs to win three games in a row. And that's no small feat. So we'll have to see if he can do it and prove Illegal Luck wrong. It's, it's not going to be easy, I tell you that much. Replay? <laughs> okay, so let's get into this possible final match. Everyone needs to ready up. Please don't. Okay, they have me in the wrong spot. <laughs> okay, ready? Um, Majestic still has the wrong race. Come on. Yep, that looks good. And 4GG, what about you? Ready up. Okay, great. Let's do it. Let's see, can Majestic prove illegal luck wrong? That is the big question here. I mean, he had a decent chance in that last game, but he kind of blew it. What do you guys think? Can he do it? The next map is Secret Spring, and we're loading into it as we speak. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the cast. Um, you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. It's always slash GXXShock. And usually I'm streaming on Twitch, so you can also give me a follow there. I'm going live tomorrow at around 9 p.m. Central European time with Grey Goo. That's another RTS. Um, doesn't share too many similarities with StarCraft. It's a lot slower before you older folks watching. But uh, it's really cool and I'm playing the campaign. Uh, so maybe you want to check that out starting at 9 tomorrow. And it's happening on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash gxxshock. But let's get started with our possibly final map in 4GG versus Majestic. And here he is, the blue Terran player for Millennium. It is 4GG. And his opponent spawned in the 8 o'clock position as the red Protoss this time he is Majestic. And he's gonna... He's gonna have to pull some cards out of his sleeve and if he wants to win versus 4GG. These early aggression tactics that um, 4GG um, has pulled off really screwed with Majestic's mind. And right now I'm thinking okay maybe maybe he just needs to do a counter cheese or just go for something really weird to throw 4GG out of his game. 4GG going for really early gas here. Let's see what he's planning. No, of course, only that barracks. Gateway opening for Majestic and going for a little bit of an early, earlier gas. Sorry. And double gas. Oh wow! Uh, could be that cheese incoming. We'll have to check uh, how many how many probes he actually sends in there. If it's only two, standard. But if he sends in three right now in both geysers, uh, that's a definite tell. Two. Okay, looks. Looks uh, pretty standard to me. Probably gonna skip that Zalot for now and uh, just focus on the Mothership Core once he can build that. And 4GG, probably go for another Reaper. But ooh, look at that, Majestic. Kind of betting a Proxy Stargate. I think that's a definite option. Ooh, no, not a Reaper. That's why he built that really early refinery to go for way quicker factory. This could actually work if if Majestic pulls this off. He needs to defend at home. He'll probably go for a sentry early on. Um, and then we'll have to see. I mean, I'm not sure what 4GG is going to go for here. Um, he could either go for another Widow Mine drop just a little bit sooner. Or he could go for Hellions or a Hellion drop uh, at this point. Stargate uh, is of course incoming for Majestic as we expected. The first Hellion being produced. 
And double marines. But this gets scouted out by Majestic. He sees all of this. Of course, he knows that like, there's gas taken. There's probably three workers in there still. Oh, nice move here. Oh, for a while. I think that probe has not been scouted, but or GG, he probably knows this. He expects something at least. And starport coming out. Should be scouted by Mr. Majestic. He's not moving over there just yet, it's still hiding. Oh yeah, 4GG just looking for that probe. He's gonna find it. Oh, he should find yeah, he saw it. He saw it. And maybe it gets over there, but I kind of doubt it. Nope, that's the last shot. Probe goes down, and he didn't see that star port. So let's see, Medivac is being produced. He's still churning out Marines, so looks like it's a Hellion Marine drop, or Hellion pressure in the front, Marine drop in the back. And Double Marine's really helping him out now, because he really needs those against the Oracle that's coming in right now. And it's boosting in the mineral line. Oh, first kill. Second, nope, quite yet. Third, oh, it goes down. Majestic doesn't have the reaction time to really pull this off. And now it's 4GG going for that drop. Complete Marine drop. Six guys are in here. And, well, I mean, he does have a Photon Overcharge available. Still on one base, but... 4GG is going to be quite content with just keeping Majestic on this base and then uh, be expanding behind it. Ooh, there's another orc coming in. I don't think he expected this. Oh, yeah. This is going to do damage and it's going to do quite a bit of damage. Four kills already, five. Should get to about six, seven, eight kills here uh, before it runs out of energy. Yep, eight, nine, even a tenth kill. Jeez. Uh, that's an instructor oracle for you, but I think... Definitely deserves a higher rank than that. There we go. 4GG moving in. Majestic's gateways are just now opening up. But the thing is, since he hasn't expanded, I think he's not in the worst spot here. Actually, he's in a pretty good spot, because 4GG down to zero workers soon. Oh, that's the last one. And he stays alive. Let's see what 4GG can pull off here. Another gateway being added by Majestic. He's pretty much close in here, so that could help, but it could also hurt him quite a bit. Uh, especially against the Hellions, but for now... Ooh, he's trying to make... Trying to clear some room to get in there. But for now, it's helping. Still, it's gonna take a little bit. Jestic just buying himself some time to get the next Photon Overcharge off, but looks like he can stop this. The Oracles are coming in to close off the remaining units and kill him off, and that's it. Majestic! goes for the 1 to 3. We had that same setup in Red versus Majestic, but maybe it gives him the energy to make a comeback happen. Could be a start here. Could be a start. <clears throat> Keep in mind uh, that in the end Nurcio is waiting. He's uh, current champion. He holds the throne, current king of the hill, to the say, so to say. And what's our next map going to be? Bani Research Station. <clears throat> OGG is ready, Majestic is ready, so we'll just wait for our admin to leave and then we're good to go. And, yep, fine, let's get started. Alright, and here we are on Vani Research Station, spawned at the 12 o'clock position, our blue Terran playing for Millennium. It is 4GG. And his opponent spawned as the purple Protoss Majestic at the 6 o'clock position here on Vani Research Station. And he just won a game. Might be the start of a comeback. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. 4GG is still up. Uh, two, um, 2 to 1. Wait, let me figure this out. 2 to 1. There we go. There we go. Got it all figured out now. 
4GG, of course, closing off here. See if he's gonna go for that style once again, but I mean, the thing is, he could have pulled this off. He was just killed by, um, he was just killed by the proxy Stargate. And he didn't realize, he didn't realize it, and, um, he thought, okay, there's only a single Oracle coming out, he dealt with that, but um, then went for counter-aggression and got killed off at home. Um, that's it. I mean, he would have left a little few Marines back, but then that would also kind of lessen the impact of his early aggression. It's it's hard to tell, but this could be a stopper for 4GG to go, to go against his style. But it doesn't look like it. It looks like he's opening, uh, like in that uh, second game, and we'll go for the Reaper opening once again. Not the 1-1-1. No, um, no Destiny Cloud Fist incoming, but we'll have to see. Maybe he's gonna change things up a little bit here. And what about Majestic? Going for a single geyser for now. Only one assimilator taken. So he's gonna change things up as well. And, I mean, Vani Research Station, it's kind of in between. It's not a huge map, it's not a small map. Somewhat in between. And the Reaper coming out for 4 GG. He's also sending an SCV over, so definitely uh, won't rely on any luck this time around. Come on, follow you. Yes. And Majestic, uh, not going for that second Vespine Geyser uh, for a while now, so I think this is gonna be complete macro protoss for Majestic. Yep, expansion should be coming out here. Uh, ooh, this might actually be denied by 4GG, no, not, he's not gonna make it, not gonna make it in time, but we'll be happy to see, okay, Nexus is coming out, so I am safe with my command center and can also work on that reactor. Possibly work on a swap later on. Um, I think a factory should be coming out here. But we'll we'll have to see. It could also go into his uh, trademark triple barracks. And Mothership Core, of course, save the space from the Reaper. We'll have to get out of there. Uh, and gets another chance to maybe check out the base later on. Uh, which won't happen if he's gonna catch uh, quite a few shots more, but nope. Not happening. And a little bit of a change up here for 4GG. Going for an earlier eBay and adding in more barracks. So he's gonna go for that barrack style, but it's gonna focus a little bit more on earlier upgrades. Uh, the last time we saw this style out of him, he played more towards um, concussive shell, uh, towards uh, stimpack research and combat shields, and then got his plus one upgrade a little bit later. But this time he's gonna get it quite fast and he's gonna try to push with that and see if he can make something happen. And Reaper goes back in, but nope. Can't really dive that deep for now. So, yeah, the plus one has started. And this is a really early plus one upgrade. See if Majestic uh, will find out about this. The Robo's on the way. Ooh, this gets scouted by 4GG. Nice scout. He's probably not gonna keep this Reaper alive. Might get a kill out of it. Yep. Especially if Majestic is not reacting. Oh, you might actually get two kills. Yep, two kills out of that Reaper, plus the Great Scout. This is awesome. Couldn't have been better for Mr. 4GG. So, that means he knows all about this Robo. Hopefully, Majestic plays with a few more observers this time. This really hurt him in the first game, where he just got completely caught out uh, by that... Well, I wouldn't call it Doom Drop, it was just a double drop. Um, not even in different places, just full drop ships, and that was it. And just not not realizing that they're coming in uh, killed him there. And basically forced him to take action. But I like this move, sending out another probe here for a proxy pylon. And he has that robo available, robotics bay coming out as well. So Colossi are a possibility later on, but he'll have to defend a few marines here with plus one. Stim is not quite done just yet, so I think 4GG is just gonna try what he can and um, see if he can break through here, but I doubt that he can. Not not without Stim. Oh, nice, nice force field. Could have caught maybe one or two more marines, but I think this is the safer route for Majestic. Definitely a good move. And now he's just buying time to get his Colossus out. And, well, it's a quarter of the way done. I think he's gonna be just fine. He still has the Photonova Church available if he needs to. 
And, oh, there it goes down. Oh, losing that Mothership Core. A little bit careless here. Will not lose the Stalker, though. So, yeah, I, th I think this was still an alright move for 4GG. If he goes for a follow-up um, follow behind this. Um, follow-up aggression, that is. And he could. Um, the Stim is ready now. Shield's halfway done. Well, it's not going to be a direct follow-up. And the Colossus is almost out. So is Thermal Lance. So right now, I don't think 4GG is going to go for anything right here. He will switch over to Viking production as soon as he sees the first Colossus. But he hasn't scanned in a while, so probably saving up maybe around the 10 minute mark to go for that next scan. And find out if we have any Colossi out on the map just yet. Uh, let's see, who's going to be the first one to go over... What? Are you kidding me? What the heck is this? This is going to be Photon Overcharge <laughs> onto these units, but the range is big, but it's not that big, right? This this looks really weird. What the heck is Majestic planning here? This is extremely weird. There goes that next drop, and once again, Majestic... Uh, oh, he just lost his Observer, so he at least knew that there were a couple units on the way. But currently, well, he has two Colossi and a few units at front, but looks like uh, we might see the same thing happen again here. As in that first match. Luckily, Thermal Lance just got finished. He will lose that robotics base, so that's gonna hurt his Colossus production. Oh, will lose the gateway as well. And there's the cleanup for GG, only using one unit here. Definitely a really nice move. Um, just safe drops. The best thing you can do. And what the heck? What the heck, Majestic? What are you planning here? Oh! Okay, that's interesting. That's a cool move. That's a really cool move. He's gonna catch them off guard. And will he, will he get the remaining units? Oh, watch out, man. Get rid of that missile turret. And now he's standing right on top of 4GG's production. And he's gonna lose so many SCVs with this. Oh my god, I think Majestic might be able to do it. This really ballsy, crazy move might be able to do it, but nope, he's closing in from both sides now. 4GG trying to kill off these Colossi. One might fall here, but nope, he can save him. He can get rid of the last Medivax. Now it's only a few Marauders left alive. If he can keep these Colossi alive, I think he's gonna be fine. Doesn't have Blink available this time, but he's getting more and more SCVs. Does he have anything behind this? Oh, everything is cleaned up at home as well. 4GG has small force over there. And it's again really even, but if the Colossus goes down, that should be it. And now the Vikings are closing in. I think 4GG has done it. I think this might be the 3-1. to one. Yep, he's cleaned it up. It's down to 15 workers though. So he needs to clear this off. And 4GG takes it. That's the 3-1. to one. 4GG wins 300 euros and gets a chance to add a little bit of a cherry on top. 400 euros up for grabs in the final round for our King of the Hill here in the My Starcraft Arena. He's gonna go up against Asus Nerd Show and that will be coming up in just a few. Hopefully you guys are joining the cast. Um, if you do, please give me a follow on Facebook or Twitter. It's facebook.com or twitter.com slash gxxshock. And usually I'm streaming on my Twitch channel, that's twitch.tv slash gxxshock. So if you're enjoying the cast, please leave a follow. And I'll see you guys tomorrow evening for a Grey Goo, another RTS. And then on Thursday I'm casting the Heroes Champions League. And um, that's going to be uh, Heroes of a Storm for you. So some pro games for that as well, and you might get to see a few old StarCraft favorites like um, Alistair, like Lucifron, like Vortex. I think they're set for playing on Thursday, so um, if you want to check out what these guys are up to these days, um, why don't you tune in?